Okay, so I have my Quincy pump all painted blue. Uh, I took off the intercooler and I've unbolted the head, and so there's the paint marks from where I could get to it, and it's just primer below it. So it's still on the test stand. Uh, I do have the tank for it, and I put it on this little cart. And I'm not sure. This probably is, it's like a 60 gallon, maybe possibly 80 gallon. Um, I'm not sure. 60 to 80 gallons, somewhere around there. So I've got a little uh, air filter and air regulator there. And then I have 250 psi um, uh, relief valves, uh, pressure gauge, and uh, the little ball valve um, for the continuous run setup on the back of the compressor. I think it's called a VD pilot. And there's a tank check valve, so <clears throat> I will probably use some stainless tubing to go from uh, the tank inlet uh, check valve from for, from the compressor um, discharge to the tank inlet. And over here, um, I don't even know why I still have that in there, um, but I have a ball valve that'll go in there in the place of that. And then I'll use stainless tubing. Uh, go from here to um, the air filter and then I have a quick connect there so uh, back to this I have uh, unbolted the tank uh, tank wow um, head the head of the compressor and I videotaped it right when I pulled it off for the first time without um, like the first time I pulled it off there and there was some or a little bit of oil in the low pressure cylinder on the top and also a little bit of a something like a, maybe a tree seed or something a uh, chunk of it uh, I don't know what that was but I wiped that out and the oil on the top was probably because when we were uh, taking this in it tipped over and because the wheels and these this thing is just are flimsy and are terrible and so uh, enough about it I'll go ahead and pull off the head and set it down over on the piece of cardboard over here and take off this to get a better view there. Um, there are some little bit gouges along the uh, cylinder. I mean, they aren't as bad as they look. Like, if you run your finger over them, you can feel them just barely. So they're not too deep. But uh, I'm not sure how that will affect the. I wonder what caused that. Maybe something got in there. Uh, with the low pressure side, there's no oil or anything on it. Like I said, this, uh, or sorry, high pressure side. The low pressure side, like I said, is probably because this thing tipped over, and that's why there's oil up there. So let me put the camera back on the tripod, and I will develop it. This little crate thing I have it on is deteriorating, so there's basically one bolt holding the thing on. As you can see, uh, I got the wobble out of the flywheel, most of the wobble out of the flywheel. Seems like the crankcase breather isn't working. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much those little uh, groove things in the cylinder is going to be, but I'm not going to be taking this up to very high, just uh, 120 PSI, because that's all I need, and about 120, 130 PSI around there, and so this thing should be able to take it up to that high. 
so I'm probably going to go and start this thing back up and just run it for a while, make sure no oil's leaking up there, so, um...